Chelsea 4, <laughs> Manchester United 3. <laughs> hey, they say if you don't laugh, you cry. But I mean, I, I, I don't even know where to start with this game. Like, like how do you analyze such a game way? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how to, where to start. So where do I begin? I mean, the game starts, we're losing 2 0. We get back, we bring it back to 3 2. And the whole time I'm, I keep saying to myself, Chelsea are going to make it 3 3, aren't they? Where do I start? I think it's fair just for me to start. For someone who's been heavily critical of Eric Ten Hag, it's, it's, I think it's only right that I start by saying that in as much as I'm Ten Hag out, I want Ten Hag gone at the end of the season, that result against Chelsea was not on Ten Hag. That's on the players. That is all on the players. I mean, we've, we concede two stupid goals. The first one, Conor Gallagher scores early, uh, three, four minutes into the game. I'm thinking, Onana should save that, should do better, but okay, it's whatever, we move. Second goal comes, who scores it? Of course, the boy, Cold, Cold Palmer. Uh, was it a penalty? Yeah, it was a penalty, make it 2-0. We come back into the game, Ganacho scores the first goal. Took the mistake from Caicedo, we pounce on the counter, we score. Another one, good ball from Delo. Uh, Fernandez equalizes. We then go in and make it 3 2. But in typical United fashion, we throw the points away. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not pissed. I'm more disappointed. Like, I don't know, if I, I don't, I don't know why I'm disappointed because I expect that. Like I said, when he went to 3 2, Excuse me. When we went 3-2 up and we just couldn't get the fourth goal. And then it went to edit time. And the edit the eight minutes, I'm thinking, oh my God, what's the eight minutes for? But anyway, that's not why we lost. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, these stupid Man United players, we've got chances whereby we can take the ball and keep it in the corner flag. But we don't do that. Instead, we want to run with it, run with it, run with it, lose the ball. I remember there was a chance where Anthony gets the ball. He goes... He's, he's running by the by the line, but then Bissaka doesn't overlap to give him or to give him support and take the ball to the corner flag. Now Anthony is just because he's tired, he gives up on him. They take the ball, they keep on attacking us again. Again, I'm not saying Anthony cost us the game, but and then somehow Chelsea attack us towards the end and what's his name? Um, um flipping Madweke. He runs, goes past Delo, Delo trips and stupidly gives the penalty away. Like I'm gonna be honest, the low has been my my player of the season for United this so far, but that 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 loss he played a big part in it. He played a big big part in it because if 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 you I know that he trips, he doesn't bring him down intentionally, and it's a bit soft because uh, rather bring why, why doesn't Dalo tackle Madueke outside of the box? Then we have a better chance of defending the free kick instead of the penalty. Because as soon as it says penalty, there's no way Palmer's missing. Palmer doesn't miss penalties. Forget it. Now, as if that wasn't bad enough, the fourth goal. Oh, before I even get to that, they make it 3-3, right? Now, of course, we restart the ball. We give it to Delo. Delo runs, tries to skip past four, five, six players. I don't even know how many players go past. And he goes and makes a stupid pass, gives the ball to Chelsea. He tries to give the rest, but it's behind. It's a rubbish pass to Chelsea now. Launch the ball and they're on the counter. And it should have been 4-3 from that moment. I don't know. It was Carney took a maker. He hits the ball, and it, I think it gets a deflection. It just goes, just a whisker past the, the, the post. And on our route, so we've gone in. But anyways, cool. This is the time to settle down. Man United, settle down. Defend the corner, get the point. I know you're disappointed with just considered a late equalizer. But keep calm. Keep your heads. Defend. Now, the, all the players are dejected. They're all down. Their heads are down. They're, they're, they're moaning. They're just looking at each other. Literally, Chelsea take a quick corner. Palmer has the freedom of Stamford Bridge. No one is marking him. By the time United players realize the corner has been taken, it's f funny enough, it's Mason Mount who tries to come out to block it. Palmer takes a shot. 
And guess what happens? It deflects off Scott McTominay and goes in 4-3. You couldn't write it. You could not write it. You could not write it. I mean, uh, like I said, if you don't laugh, you cry. Oh, man, United, man. We are just literally the biggest bottle jobs. And I keep saying that was not because of Denark. It's not. That result, it has nothing to do with Eric Denark. That, that's the players. That's where, when it goes to 3-3 three, three, and the corner comes, that's where you need your leaders. But by then, Varane's off the pitch. He's been replaced. He's injured, so I understand. Casemiro, you replaced him for whatever reason. I think maybe match fitness as well. So I think the only senior players that are on the pitch at that point is Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. Um, who else is there? Scott McTominay, I don't know if he's a leader. But yeah, basically not too many experienced players are there. You know, like, like when the corner is taken, our captain Bruno Fernandes, tell your team to calm down. Calm down, guys. They're gonna take, they've taken a corner. Keep your heads. He's, I don't know what he's doing. I'm not, I'm not saying the goal is because of, it's because of Bruno. That fourth goal is... The, sh the blame can be shared across the whole team. The whole team is to blame. Because they all lose them. They're not marking. They're just standing there. Chelsea scored the fourth goal. And I, literally, I was laughing. I was laughing at full time. I'm thinking, yeah, that's typical Man United. That typifies our season. Now, for me, that confirms top four is done. Not, not even top four. I'd say top four is done a long time ago. Top five is done. We're not getting Champions League football. Villa lost yesterday. So there was a chance for us to maybe make some... Reduce the gap between us and themselves. But we couldn't do it. And guess who we've got next? <laughs> Liverpool. This is the same Liverpool we just knocked out of the FA Cup. You think they're coming to play when they come to Old Trafford? They're coming for revenge. Ha. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, this club. Anyways, like, I, 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 I genuinely don't know what else to say. I mean, I think... The, the, I'm just going to do player ratings. They're going to be quick. It's late. I need to go. Now, I'm just going to get through the player ratings. Andre Onana in goal. First goal, I thought he should have saved it. Um, I thought it was soft. It was under him. He even got, he got his glove to the ball, but it still went in. I thought, no, Onana, you should do better. You should save it. Um, the two penalties, nothing to do about that. The deflection can't do anything about that. So, really, wasn't really to blame today. I'll give him a five, standard five. Uh, sorry. For those that don't know, we mark players. We do player ratings. Going from uh, 1 to 10. 1 being very poor, 5 being average, 10 being excellent. So, Anand Andre Onana gets a 5. Let's move it on quickly to right back. We had Aaron Van Bissaka. <sighs> he wasn't good. But, I mean, it, but he wasn't awful. Was he? he was all right. He was... Who did he have? He had Mudrik. He, he had to deal with. But Mudrik just looked like he was too quick for him today. He didn't look like the, the real one Bissaka that we used to. I think he's not fit. Something's going on there. But anyways, Bisaka didn't look like the, the normal Bisaka, but yeah, I'm going to give him a... Uh... <sighs> if everyone should get marked down for, for that fourth goal that went in. I'm going to mark him down. I'm gonna give him, I was going to give him a five, so I'm going to give him one Bisaka gets a four for me. Moving it on to Rafa Varane, another injury. Comes off a half time yet again, just like he did last game against... Who did we play? Brentford. That's wrong with Varane. He's too injury prone, man. Um... <sighs> And now he gets a four as well. Let's be quick with this because, I mean, honestly, we, we, the way we lost the game, no one deserves to come out there with any praise. Um, moving it on, who was the left centre back? Maguire. Is it Maguire? Did he start the game? Yeah, he did. He, he, he looked decent, but again, he's part of the rubbish team. He gets a four. Diogo Delo was a left back today. My player of the season so far, personally, for Man United. But uh, I have to be honest and I have to be fair. He cost us the game because he led to the equalizer, which basically led to the team dropping their heads, which led to us considering the fourth goal. So for me, Dilo gets a. I mean, he got the assist for the equalizer, so I'm going to give him a two. I have to be fair. When a player plays well, I, pra I praise them, but when they play rubbish or they cost us a game, I have to criticize them. Dilo for me gets a two. Um, moving it on to midfield, we had Casemiro. Just kept on sliding in, getting past. Even when he got replaced, uh, he he wasn't there. He got the four for me. Casemiro gets a four. Kobe Mainu, young boy, he tried his thing, but wasn't really his game. He wasn't great, but he wasn't so poor either. So he gets a five for me. Uh, moving it on, we've got who else? Bruno Fernandes, the captain. I know he scored the equaliser, but he was awful. He played a part towards uh, them equalising because he should have kept the ball. 
There's that time when we're trying to do the, the, the one touch passing in the corner flag. We couldn't even get to the actual corner. We're doing it by the touch line, but not to the actual corner flag. I'm thinking, you're the captain. Tell your team to calm down. Keep the ball. He wants to just launch the ball as, a, as if it's a grenade or something. Like, no, man. Bruno, just because you're the captain, I'm going to mark you down even more. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, for me, he failed to, 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 to show leadership. He's moaning at the referee. He's complaining. He's whining and all of that. He gets a two for me as well, Bruno Fernandes. Ah, uh, should have done much better in that game. Bruno Fernandes, he gets a two, uh, just like Delo. And I'm marking it on versus captain. He didn't show any leadership cap uh, um, capabilities. Uh, moving it on, we had Rasmus Hoyland. Oh my God, he had a stinker, that boy. He had a right stinker. Um, the runs he keeps making when we on the counter, instead of running to inward, he's running outward. When he's supposed to run outward, he's running inward. There's a time when Anthony's dribbling and gets into the box. I'm thinking, Rasmus, get yourself in the box. Get towards the ball. He's running away from goal. I don't understand where he's going. He was poor today. He was non-existent. He gets a three for me. Um, who else is there? Anthony. Um, he was, he, it, was, it was a mixed bag. He was a mixed bag, Anthony, for me. Um... It was absolutely a mixed bag. He, he, he did some good stuff. He did some rubbish stuff. So I'm going to give him a... Um, oh, but then Paul, though. Assist of the season for me. Maybe I'm being biased. But I, I, that, that, that ball was sick. Just for that assist and his endeavor that he showed, and I know he should do, be doing more. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to give him a... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to give him a six. I'm going to give him a six. I'm going to get a six for me. The last one we've got under under Andrew Ganacho. Uh Ganacho for me gets a I don't know if he, he didn't really play well. He got the two goals, but he wasn't that brilliant, especially when he came to going one on one with either Disasi or, 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 or Malugusto. Um so but he did score a brace at Stanford Bridge, so I'll be yeah, I'll give him a seven. I was gonna give him a six point five, but it is Stanford Bridge, it's away. Yes, we lost, but yeah, it happens. So Ganacho for me gets a seven, he's my man of the match. And yeah. I don't think there's any point rating uh, the the substitutes. I mean, what's his name? Evans came on at halftime for Varane, but he got injured within 20 minutes. He came off. Willy Kambola came on. He looked all right. Nothing special. Nothing amazing. Who else? McTominay, the ghost as usual. No point rating him. Uh, who else? Mason Mount. He came on, tried to keep the ball with the boys, but I don't even know why he didn't start the game, honestly. Um, for us, he should have started with with Kobe and uh, with Kobe and Bruno, or with Kobe and Casemiro. I don't know, but anyways, yeah, those are my those are my player ratings. And yeah, man, like the game was just rubbish. Man United are rubbish. We are in trouble. And we've got Liverpool coming up on the weekend. Pray for us because <laughs> if we, I don't know, I feel like we might get embarrassed. I feel like it might get proper ugly. But yeah, like I said, I'm telling our guard, but tonight's results not on him. That's all on the players. Leadership. Bruno Fernandes is a captain. He's an absolute disgrace. Rubbish performance. I know he got the goal, but he was awful. He showed no leadership abilities. No, nothing. It's just rubbish. So for me, he gets marked down. And yeah, those are my thoughts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. I'll be doing the, the... I should do the weekend roundup. Flip sometime probably have to, have to do the weekend round up maybe sometime tomorrow so stay tuned and check that out and uh, i'll see you soon so yeah if you haven't already liked the video drop a comment in the video subscribe to the channel and yeah i'm out